Yeah, and so we have both teams in the lobby now. We're going to be getting going underway here in just a second. I'm excited. Me too. I mean, some familiar faces from both sides. Obviously, we have Thing Small, Sean, and Wooby from WCU. But coming in the ter on the team of GHC, we have Krups Du Boobin, the Spartan, and a Cozy Shadow. And we are just about to get underway here once they decide to... <laughs> there we go. Once the spectators go to spectate. Yeah, we have Gray's Harbor Blue in the blue and WCU in orange. Looks like it's going to be Smalls, Sean, and I think that's Thing sitting on the far side as well for the Mountaineers. It is. And WCU looking to try and get a decent lead out at the start. Akozi going to control it in the center. 50 from Sean sends it in front of the net. Krups Du going to clear it away. It's now a chance for Smalls to send it towards net. Shot Looking to pass. On goal there. Mountaineers are on the attack early. Another shot just wide right there. Sean gets a good tap up. And it's a double commit from GHC if Thing controls it well, which he misses the touch. Oof. It's going to be over for Sean to pass up the Thing. Read by Krub, and it's going to be a counterattack now for GHC. Except they miss, so it's going to be Smalls controlling a pop too high for Makozi. And now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one for Smalls and Krub. Smalls just up. rifles it and Ooh. opens the series. one nothing for the Mountaineers just about a minute in. The White Fish, one of my favorite sights in this game. Great shot there from Smalls right over the defender. Upper 90, well placed. 51 seconds here into game one. And we see the support in chat coming from one of our friends down in UHD, University of Houston downtown, who had a phenomenal win the other night against the ranked one seed Southern Minnesota University Mustangs. Dice Kai hanging out, cheering on his friends from WCU. Now Okozi looking to try and clear out for Gray's Harbor. Thing gets the challenge off. It's going to be Smalls following, or no, Sean following up for the Mountaineers. A spike down, looking for a center. Not, no one there. And Small's going to be looking to try and center. And GHC is going to be stuck on the defense for a minute. Yeah, definitely a good bit of back and forth here. A shot there going just high left from deep. And a follow up there for Gray's Harbor. I mean, the double high pass off the backboard. Krub missing that first double touch and Spartan just not expecting it. But a cozy there, ready for the, clo er, for the, for the closer. Yeah. I'm a little out of practice. All good. Tying it up. <laughs> Just past a minute and a half here in the game one. This is a best of five series, so first team to three. Uh, both the semifinals and finals will be best of seven. I mean, the thing that I'm mainly looking for from the Mountaineers tonight specifically is seeing them get back into their pace, playing their speed, playing the game that they know how to play, which is fast, controlled, and smart. Once they get into that groove, it's going to be hard for Grace Harbor to come back into this. But right now, Grace Harbor finding their momentum early on in this game. As Akozi gets another Ooh. shot off and scores off of a pass from Krub. 2-1 to one now, 30 seconds after the last goal. Grace Harbor takes the lead. Yeah, still plenty of time for the Mountaineers. I'm not too worried here. Plenty of game. We're only two minutes into this series. But well played there from Gray's Harbor. Good team chemistry, great pass, and even better shot there. And I think tonight it's just going to be a matter of who has the better chemistry that remains. Because I can't say that many teams were planning on waiting this long <laughs> to play again. And speaking of team chemistry, Thing absolutely diming Sean to tie the game back up. Yeah, great pass off the backboard. Sean coming in great. Pretty well defended. He just found the opening. I mean, what a touch from Sean. Just putting it after he sees two of GHC flying a bit too far out of position on the defense. And now it's going to be Smalls clearing for WCU. Looking for Sean. Sean gets the clear now. And Smalls going to be following it up. Bumps Akozi off. Now it's Thing looking for a chance to take a counterattack. But Akozi's there once again. The main thing that WCU needs to do is just not throw it away. We'll look there. And it gets touched, though. I mean, the dunk from Smalls almost goes in, clearly saved by the Spartan. And now a shot from Akozi. That was like, Akozi is coming in with these wonderful shots. Mountaineers doing pretty good on defense, though. And Smalls confidently playing that third man for the moment. Looking to try and find someone upfield. Isn't able to do so, but now Thing has time and space, just needs the boost. He gets it, looking for a pass center, maybe. 
Oh, and a miss from Grace Harbor almost allows WCU a chance to get ahead in this game once again. Not able to connect, and now Smalls again playing that third man. I can't say I'm used to seeing Smalls this far back. Yeah, it's definitely a unique strategy. Like we said, though, it's been a month since the last competition. Definitely team chemistry could be a little little off, but I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, I'm just more used to, I guess, when Smalls is in, I see him more on an aggressor, or in an aggressive position, trying to take the attack when he can. And Sean going to be looking to try and clear this up the wall. Gets a weird, awkward pinch, but it goes downfield into Grace Harbor's, or into Grace, yeah, Grace Harbor's Ooh, half. Good demo A demo from Sean. Goal. And a it's bump open. from Sean, and oh. Smalls hits the post! Oh, oh my gosh, the hardest thing to do is to score the open nets, and great Sean gets block blocked there. by Krupp Stube. That was a no. beautiful setup there from Sean, just missed, but we are down to a minute tied 2-2 here in game one. I mean, Grace Harbor definitely has the muscle memory going, and the bump onto oh. the Spartan from his teammate. Oh my gosh, I don't think that was calculated. Oh, no, there's no way. No. Nope. No. It paid off, though. Dang, Grays Harbor takes <laughs> the lead with 52 seconds remaining here. I mean, next kickoff could determine how things go, but I'm not going to say that too sure. And Smalls, maybe with a controller disconnect, he gets back into the action now. He might have also just been not quite ready, but that is okay. And now Thing looking to challenge isn't able to do so. Sean going to be playing back one-on-one -on -one against the Spartan. It's a 50 towards center. And an attempted bump off, and oh. that's going to put Grays Harbor up two or by two with 35 seconds left. An unfortunate bump from Thing, just not able to get him out of the way enough. I mean, 30 seconds left. There's still plenty of time for WCU, but they're going to need to do a lot to get back in this game. They need an early goal here. Sean getting a good touch in, but two defenders back for Grays Harbor still. Grays Harbor just trying to control it there. A shot. Oh, oh. just wide left. Follow up through thing, and it's blocked. I mean, it's hard to score that when you put it right at the, at the defender. Yep. I got to say that those aren't easy. It can happen. It's just not likely. And Grays Harbor just trying to make an opening statement early in this series. Not able to connect, though, to put it up 5-2. to two. WC looking to find the momentum to bring it back for Game 2, as Game 1 will be over no matter what. And that will do it. It is best of 5 for this series, as every Rocket League Round 1 and every Rocket League competition, aside from activation, has been so far this year. Just going to take a look at the scoreboard real quick. Smalls and Sean each having a goal for WCU, but a cozy shadow, three goals from Grays, for Grays Harbor. Yeah, he had a lot of great shots in the early game. Definitely well played, though, from both teams. So, Honestly, WCU, they came out well. Really, it was just that second half where they struggled. They let in two goals that were just tough. But I mean, there was, I mean the first of those was definitely a lucky break. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, any person who plays the game will know that. That was just an unlucky hit for Krub that actually bumped Spartan forward. But for now, it's going to be going us going into game two in about 10 seconds. Unless Akozi and Wubi both ready up here in the next <laughs> few. <laughs> but no, we're going to take the full 60 seconds, and here we go. We should be getting underway in just a moment. I really think the main thing for WCU is just get that consistency, get that mindset, and shake it off. It's one game. But I mean, here we go. Opening kickoff. It is going to be Smalls against Krub. And the kickoff goes to Grace Harbor's half. Smalls going to be following up, looking to find a center. Spartan going to get a nice clear. Sean tries Ooh. to dunk, isn't able to do so. And now Thing just up there for WCU. A great half flip challenge. Something that you don't see too much of. And a miss attack from Krub allows for Smalls to get a clear. But Akozi is there, ready for it. A demo from Sean. Almost smokescreen Thing, but we're A OK for now. Still scoreless. Good luck there. Oh, just oh off the upright. Gosh. Thing touches it, and, and Sean comes in. Woo I mean, that was a lot going on right yeah. there. I mean, the first shot from Thing it just blocked in time by Crew, but the pop-up really allowed Sean to find it, and Sean nestling into the upper 90s, something that he loves to do. 
great shot, and that's how you want to open it. And much faster opening for WCU. 30 seconds in as opposed to about a minute. But now Okozi gets a clear down. Krub looking for the aerial redirect, just misses it. Now thinking to control on the wall for WCU. Looking to play it to his team. No one there. Small's going to try for the clear, and it's going to be a pinch attempt. But Okozi is there to just disrupt. And speaking of disrupting, he disrupts his own teammates' hit on that. And now WCU has found their momentum and is starting to put more pressure on Grace Harbor once again. Yeah, I'm definitely starting to like the rotations a little bit more here. Generally having one forward, one mid, and one back. So oh my gosh. it's good to see Thing on the attack, hitting in that right corner. Sean with the follow-up, gets a shot towards goal. Oh, Spartan though. Backboard. Oh, oh. Smalls almost hits the shot in. It's going to be cleared up the wall. Smalls now going to cut in with, oh my gosh, 80 boost in the tank. He's going to go for what looked like a flip reset. Couldn't quite connect though. And now Thing going to be keeping the pressure up for WCU. Puts it towards the net and it's in. The pass from Smalls technically, <laughs> which was just a clear from Krub, puts it off or allows Thing just to get the clear towards net and it just goes in. WCU up 2 nothing. Three and a half minutes left. Definitely a great start there. Still plenty of time in this game. Could go either way, but Mountaineers are looking good on the attack again. Thing tried to get that pinch just off the wall. Wasn't able to find it, but it looked like Grace Harbor was trying to go for a fake kickoff, but they just didn't communicate that well enough. Great clear from Sean as Okozi gets a shot on net. And WCU looking to try and be just a master, or try and put on a master class of defense to try and show that you're not going to get easy goals against us. It's now clear right to Krub. Krub throws it off target. Sean clears it anyway. Now over to Thing, looking to pass it again. Gets challenged by Krub, and Krub gets the momentum back for Grace Harbor. And now it's going to need to be a huge oh. save, and a big save from Thing there. Another great clear from Thing. Thing just not allowing Grace Harbor to get back in this game. And now Smalls trying to get down enough. Oh, and a triple commit from WCU. Smalls has to get the touch. He does. He misses the boost, but he's going to clear it over the net. Looking for Thing to clear. Who gets a... Or Sean gets a high pop. Sorry. And now it is back into Grace Harbor's half. And WCU has a chance to maybe get a third. They definitely had a lot of good saves there from the Mountaineer defense. They're looking much better here in game two. I think the first game was just the pressure of getting back into it, and now game two, they're figuring out the momentum. They have all the mechanics still in mind. It's just playing with one another is the big challenge. And I think now that they figured that out, we're going to see a much different Mountaineer team than in game one. Really, WCU keeping the pressure on keeping it in their half of the field. Grace Harbor trying to clear it, but... Mountaineers, ooh, a good touch there for Grays Harbor. Thing there, though, to receive it. I mean, Krub dunks him and is looking for Okozi. Okozi plays it down. Sean has to get there in oh. time. Can't quite connect before it crosses the goal line. With a minute 40 left, Grays Harbor brings it back within one. A backboard pass from Krub and just a nice, small touchdown from Okozi Shadow. Yeah, that's exactly what they needed right there to stay alive in this minute 39 remaining. They needed another goal to push it on, but WC looking good and... If WCU can get one more here, I think I think they'd be looking pretty good for game two. And now Small's going to have a lot of time in the backfield. Just sends it down. Okozi going to clear off the top. And now Sean will be moving back for the Mountaineers. Tries to get the boost. It doesn't spawn in time. Thing gets the clear up the wall. And now Okozi's going to be playing it, trying to go for an air dribble. No, he's actually just going to clear it and try and get a second touch. But not able to do so. It's going to bounce high. A double commit from Grace Harbor. Allows for WCU to get the clear downfield. Sean now tries to get a softer touch for Thing, just can't quite get a soft enough one. And Thing plays it back towards his own net. And it's now a double commit from WCU, a miscommunication. Oh. And it's going to allow a Spartan to come in and put it the, the ugh, tie the game up at two. Tough luck there for the Mountaineers. Unlucky. Great shot there from Spartan, though. Seeing the opportunity, seeing the miscue, and taking advantage. I mean, a minute left in game two here. It is a best of five, as we mentioned. So WCU really needs this game to get the momentum for this, to stay alive in this series. Because if you're down 0-2, that's a that's a scary place to be for anyone. Oh. And a great save from Thing once again. Sean now going to be leading the counterattack for the Mountaineers. Akozi going to get to the nice clear downfield. And now it has to be Smalls who goes high and wide. Akozi now spikes it high. 
gets a chip towards net. It's off the crossbar. No one there to put it in, though, for Grace Harbor. Game still tied. 30 seconds left on the clock. WCU, though, on their heels, needs to get this out of their half. And with Akozi bumping Spartan, it's going to give him a chance to. But Krub playing a one-on-three successfully, maintaining possession for his team. This is a very aggressive play here from Gray's Harbor, and it's it's looking good so far. WCU just trying to clear it at this point. Ten seconds remaining here. I mean, Sean just trying to kill time. Small's now going to go up with Thing. It's a double commit, but a great clear for WCU. A chance, maybe, oh. but no, it's going to be cleared downfield. Cozy going to try and keep it up. Isn't able to do so, so now we're in overtime. Game two. Can't say this is how I thought the series was going to go, but should, as I did say earlier was going to be an exciting one, no matter what. It's a pass high. WCU, Sean looking to try and score, isn't able to do so. Spartan clears it off the top. Thing now coming in for the counterattack. Gets a clear downfield. It's right to Okozi. Okozi going to miss the landing. Sean going to get a touch around. Tries to pop. Ooh, Maybe Small sends it a high. bit high. And now Thing Good plays it demo. off corner. Two on three down here. Oh, shot. my gosh. Thing there, seeing Sean's attempt at a shot, does go for a bump successfully gets it and then the demo from thing there allows sean to get a clear towards net a cozy gonna clear it wide sean gonna try and pass middle to thing thing tries to chip Ooh. it isn't able to get enough of an angle though as grace harbor clears it small's now putting it back towards net and wcu is really putting this pressure on we are about a minute into overtime sean gets Another the shot, shot towards net a double commit again from grace harbor neither team wanting to back down now a back pass to smalls and it's beat but thing's gonna have time and space to clear it wide Clears it over. Spartan going to put it back middle. And now Sean has to go up. And it's oh. a great save from Smalls to keep WCU alive. Unbelievable there. They're Neither just going team. Back and forth. And a great challenge from the Spartan. Keeps it alive as Akosi comes in now. Plays it off the corner. Looking for his team in the center. It's going to be Sean, though, to clear. It's now over Krug. Krug going to get the touch wide, though. Just to disrupt Mountaineers' counterattack. A challenge from Thing allows for a chance, but no one there for the Mountaineers to follow up. Now Akosi going to go for a air dribble and a great clear one person clearing the body one clearing the ball oh. and almost a shot on net it's now sent high and Krub's gonna get control on the wall past one pat just around two but he drained all his boost to do so and now it's a pinch it's off target coming up on the two oh minute gosh. mark here in overtime Thing looking to try and beat Krub, but on the wall, isn't able to do so. Sean going to have to turn here. Gets a high shot. Ooh. It's a pinch. It just hits the corner. Oh, my gosh. WCU not quite able to find the back of the net, and neither team wanting to concede this goal. Sean just goes for the demo. Allows for the clear from Smalls, another who gets demo. another demo. 3v1 here. Just but Akosi. for a second. And Akosi does clear it. It's going to be a pass right back to Akosi from Sean. And from Thing. Now Small's going to redirect it wide. Krug going to try and keep the pressure on for Grace Harbor. Putting it towards goal, looking for maybe a double touch. Isn't able to do it as Kling, or as Thing clears it wide. Sean now versus Akozi. Akozi gets the challenge downfield. It's not a Thing. Thing plays it wide. Krug ready for it. Thing tries to read it in the air. Isn't able to do so successfully. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And the third, the Spartan. Not able to find the back of the net though. And now Sean coming in on the counterattack for WCU. This is one of the longer overtimes we've seen. We're past the three-minute mark here. It's really not in either team's favor. Just going back and forth with some great shots, but even better saves. Another demo there. I have seen four demos from WCU here in overtime. I mean, WCU trying to play the physical game right now, just trying to get into the heads of Grays Harbor. And the challenge there allows for WCU to try and take some time to get back. Small's going to be off the backboard, gets the clear wide, plays it low and slow. Thing plays it high. Akozi gets the touch, but has to back off. Now Sean gets a touch around one. The Spartan a little overcommitted. So is Krub. It's now a three on one if WCU can do anything. But no, the Spartan demos Smalls. Sean, or Thing going to keep up the pressure. Sean now coming in, faking that challenge. Going to go off the wall. Gets a pop up maybe for Smalls. Ooh. Not able to find it though. And Thing going to have a bit more time in the back corner to try and beat a cozy here. Oh, well, it's a pop, pop high. Smalls and a great clear from there. Smalls. And a touchdown from Sean to Thing. The team chemistry from WCU, the passing in particular, is looking incredible. Yes, it is. Four minutes into overtime here in game two. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be a long one for sure. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, and the clear high with the demo in the backfield from Krupp. And that's oh. it. WCU now one game away from their season ending. Whew. That was a brutal overtime and a brutal overtime loss. Four minutes, 18 seconds. Grays Harbor up 2-0 in the series. Wow. That was great play from both teams, you got to say. Oh, and the disconnect from Thing. I wonder if this means we're going to have Whoopi coming in as a sub. But just looking at the scoreboard once again, a cozy shadow taking the lead for his team, and it's pretty apparent that he's one of the stronger players for Grace Harbor. Absolutely. A cozy with, what was that, five goals now in the series? I think so. Yeah, two in each game, or... He got three in last game. Three in game one yep. and two in this one. Yep. I mean, unreal power from Okozi. And I think the main thing here is for WCU to just recollect themselves and know that they can do this. But I think for now, we're going to take a small break and we'll be right back as we get into the action in game three. And here we go, game three in this best of five series. WCU down zero to two against Gray's Harbor Blue. And on this opening kickoff, we do see Wooby coming in for WCU. We're gonna see who the better Oob is as Krub Steuben and Wooby are both playing now. Thing having DC'd, I'm guessing from some technical issues, could have called a technical timeout, but as we've said a few times on this channel, WCU is not known for calling their timeouts, aside from the rare team here and there. That is true. I, throughout the season, I have loved the chemistry between Wooby and Sean. Wooby just seems to always be able to find great passes to Sean. Sean seems to just put himself in the right position, and it's fun to watch. But we will see what happens here. 30 seconds in, not much. Grace Harbor on the attack, though. Right now, I think both teams are trying to feel out how each other wants to go about this. And WCU a little bit on their heels from that disconnect from Thing. And the great clear from Wooby as he reads the pass. And now Wooby gets a small touch, goes for the air dribble, gets bumped off by Spartan. It's cleared wide, and Spartan now going to get the clear downfield. Krub tries to get the clear as well, isn't able to do so. And Smalls tries to pass to Sean and then decides to take it to him by himself with no boost. And now it's a... Oh, it's an overcommit from WCU as they're all in the opposing half. A miss there. Grace Harbor could not capitalize. Lucky for WCU. WCU now on the attack. We'll be trying to get a center in. It's up. Smalls is there with the shot. Oh, but a cozy's there to defend. Right now, the defense is being the deciding factor in these games. And Wooby from Smalls puts WCU up 1-0 a minute and a half. The longest time it's taken to score a goal in this series. Yeah, definitely a good open goal there. Just taps it right in, giving the Mountaineers the boost they need. They need to win three games in a row here to continue on to the semifinals. Definitely a tough challenge seeing how uh, Grace Harbor has been playing, but Mountaineers, if they can, if they can find that spark... I believe they are a team that can do that. I'm going to say it right now. I think the spark for the t for the time being is going to be Wooby, a player that GHC is not used to at this point and thing. I mean, very different play styles between the two. And a bump or a demo from Sean allows for a chance in the middle. An overcommit, though, from Wooby and Smalls is going to force the Mountaineers to back off. Sean now coming in to challenge, keeps it in Grace Harbor's half, sending it to the offensive corner. Now going to be a clear from Okozi, and it looks like another you, demo <laughs> another demo but it looks like grace harbor is taking the strategy of a couple other teams from the navigators division of throw the ball away just to get it out of the half and then take the offense where you can now a pass off the back wall from will it's sent high from smalls or from sean sorry 
Now Smalls coming in, tries to keep the offense on for WCU. It's gonna be a demo chase from Grace Harbor and a great redirect and a demo from Smalls, but a shot from Ooh. Okozi. I mean, Okozi come is, on. Okozi is playing great tonight, my goodness. We've already seen four demos from the Mountaineers, but unable to get Grace Harbor on their heels. It's unfortunate. It's tied up, 1-1, one, one, two minutes, 20 seconds remaining here in game three. The main thing to keep in mind is you can't underestimate any team that's in this Nationals bracket, no matter what. Any team can come back from anything at this point, from what we've seen, and it's going to be a fight no matter what. It's a double, co or it's a uh, bump from their own team, and now we'll be just gonna fake that, looking to try and get the pass from Sean to Smalls. Smalls now keeps the pressure on for WCU, gets the challenge, it's off the corner. Krug though, in the air, misses it, and now a chance for Western. Smalls gets a clear to the corner. It's going to be a, or no, Sean does. It's going to be a double commit from Wooby and Smalls. Smalls now going to follow up, gets the Good bump. bump there. A shot chance for Wooby, but both Spartan and Akozi are back to defend. It's a clear off the wall. Smalls gets the 50 out. Wooby going to get the clear past Krub. Wooby looking to try and find a center here. But no, he's going to fake it. Sean gets Ooh. the aerial. The clear from Wooby to the aerial from Sean. WCU back up by one in game three. Two to one. What a yeah, shot. Minute, oh my 27 gosh. 27 remaining. Mountaineers needed that. Honestly, at this point, they need to kind of keep on the gas, but also just lock down on defense here. And speaking of locking down on defense, looking at Spartan's challenge, puts the pressure on WCU to defend. But now Wooby with no boost going to put pressure on GHC. Smalls up, gets the touch over one, tries to get the dunk, isn't able to do so, flips back over. And now Wooby and Sean are left to defend, but it's a great challenge from Wooby, a demo from Smalls. WCU heavy on the demos this game, and Smalls heavy on the saves as he keeps the game in favor of WCU as we head into the final minute. The clear down field, a chance for WCU now. It's gonna be a pass from Sean to Wooby, just misses wide! Great team chemistry there between oh these gosh. two. Another look there from Sean off that back wall. Smalls unable to get it there. Good defense from Gray's Harbor. Gray's Harbor trying to carry, but Mountaineers keeping pressure alive. 30 seconds remaining here. My heart is pounding watching this game. This is unreal. WCU having found their momentum just, oh, and a great half flip challenge from Smalls. Clears the ball just a bit for WC to recuperate. Akozi now gets a pass over to Spartan. Spartan sends it towards net. A miscommunication from Sean and Smalls. Leaves an opening for Grace Harbor. It's a pop from one, but oh! no! Ten seconds left, and Grace Harbor has tied it! That is a tough one. The ball just oh kind of got stuck gosh. there. Nobody able to get the clear. Ten seconds remaining. Looks like we might be going to overtime yet again here in I game mean, three. That was just a goal line collapse for the Mountaineers, but a challenge up to Smalls, or the 50 to Smalls. Akozi going to collect it wide. Shang now going to put the pressure on, tries to get a shot off, and it's just going to be on the ground. So we will be in game three overtime. Let's see if WCU can do what they didn't last overtime and win it. Or, you know, maybe go to five minutes. I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone else could, but... Mountaineers need to score here. Oh, and a pass from Sean. Wooby passes it to Smalls. No, Smalls just going to back off. And now it's a chance for Grace Harbor, who plays it wide, looking to, instead of trying to just to throw it towards net, trying to get Good a ball off pass. the wall. Smalls carrying it. And now Krug going to play it high for Grace Harbor. Sean going to get the clear. A small touch, tries to keep it for himself. A 50 from Wooby. And Sean now going to be chasing down for the Mountaineers. Ignores the boost and just goes for a bump. Smalls goes for a challenge. Wooby gets demoed. So now he's going to be back in WCU's half. Sean going for the Ooh. dribble. A bump attempt from Smalls could have been huge for the Mountaineers as we reach a minute in this overtime. And it's a huge clear from Grace Harbor. Taking, the little, taking all of the pressure off. Sean missing that air control. Instead going to play it wide. And now Crew gets a missed touch. And... It's back down towards net for Grace Harbor. Sean needs to get a challenge here. WCU just needs to get it out of their half for the moment. And Small's going to try and do so. Not able to do that, though. And now it's Wooby. A miss from Akozi. It lets Spartan take control. And now Akozi going to put it towards net. Small's goes up. Gets a clear high. It's going to be, I think, Krug coming up for Grace Harbor. 
And now Sean going to be trying to collect on the back wall for the Mountaineers. Risky play, putting it right in front of the net. But it worked out for the moment. Spartan now with an air dribble. A great challenge from Whoopi. It's high, oh, though. Nikosi is up. And that's going to do it. WCU. Ooh. In something I did not expect. Lost the series. Three to nothing. Oh. Great series. Great through series. And through. But just WCU couldn't get the bounces where they needed to. And that will do it. And that's going to do it actually for us for the season. Yeah, that won't will be, be it until fall semester. I want to say about September. Yeah. Based on how last semester went, we won't have streams coming back till September. Once again, a cozy shadow being a carrying force for WCU, but you can't be upset with that. I mean, yeah. unbelievable two great seven teams. goals there from a cozy in the series. Well played. Well played from both teams, but I think for now that's going to do it for us. I'm JoJo's Mojo. I'm Mountain Man. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great summer.